Maggie, I'm holding it. You got your putter holding it. I don't know if they want to do try that in this weather. Do they a fake? Well, <laughs> something to think about. It is something to think about. The hold will be at the 32-yard line. It's a 49-yard field goal. Our 42-yard field goal. A 42-yard field goal attempt coming up. Blanchard swings his leg, and he has no good. The hat trick for Blanchard, 0 for 3 on field goal tries. You know, when, when you see this, you really feel for the guy. But here's Blanchard. He hit it. He had. It looked like he had enough distance, and that ball went left again. Look where the strings are. Are the strings downfield? The strings are fine. Everything is fine. Blanchard hits it. He just hooked it. Three for three. Three misses. Well, when you when you start after you hit it, you start begging. You know you already missed it. So the Bills maintain the pace with the Houston Oilers for best record in the American Conference and the Bills now 53 seconds away from running out the clock and going to 11 and 4 on the season 53 seconds from again winning the AFC East a lot of flags on the field for whatever reasons this thing is over with all I have to do is take a knee All Blanchard would have had to do is make one of those field goal attempts. He's had a very good year. He came into the game. He hit 17 to 22 field goals. You know the thing about it is, and there's absolutely the players leave him alone because there's not a, there's nothing you can say to him. You can't make him feel good. He feels bad enough. He's the one that has to live with it, and he knows it. You cannot make him feel any better. You can't say that's okay because he knows it isn't okay. If he made one of those field goals, just one of them, they might have won the football game. So the Bills are ready to run out the clock. Uh, thanks for helping the booth to Kerry Holler, Larry Pollock, Michael Gluck, and Steve Solomon. As Coach Coslett's Jets will now go back to New York. Out of the playoffs. A tremendous effort by the whole Jet defense and by quarterback Boomer Sass and running back Johnny Johnson. But in the end, a team that knows how to win and go to Super Bowls rose up. Lost the lead and took it back. And this was a terrific defensive football game, Greg. I mean, under these conditions, you think, well, what anything can happen. And everything did happen in this football game. It was just an outstanding game, both both offensively and defensively for both teams. Jim Kelly downs the ball, and that will do it. As the Bills come away with a 16 to 14 victory over the Jets. A battle in the bitter cold. Near the shores of Lake Erie, Coach Coslett had his team ready. They've not had offense today. After 21 quarters without a touchdown pass, Boomer Esiason threw two as Kelly sends the ball up into the stands. The Bills now an 11 and 4 team, and again champions of the AFC East. We'll be coming back to Rich Stadium in a moment, where the Jets have just lost to the Bills 16 to 14.